Greetings, my cosmic explorers. I'm Meitobo, your guide to the mysteries of the universe. Welcome back to my blog, where science meets attitude and wonder knows no bounds. Today, we're diving into the mystery of the boat's void. What if you discovered a hole in the universe so vast it shouldn't exist? That's the boat's void, a silent spherical abyss 700 million light years away that defies our best models of cosmic structure. The boat's void isn't just empty, it's impossibly empty, spanning 2% of the observable universe, yet containing less than 1% of the expected galaxies. This cosmic desert challenges everything we know about, how the universe evolved. Some theories suggest merging voids, quantum anomalies, or even collisions with other universes. While others whisper about alien megastructures, one thing's certain, the great nothing is making scientists rethink the cosmos. To help us break it all down, I've brought along the brilliant Brian. So grab your coffee, fasten your seatbelts, and get ready for some serious celestial wisdom. Brian, the floor is yours. Thanks, May. You always set the stage beautifully. Now, let's explore how these developments will reshape our understanding and what they mean for the future of human innovation. Imagine walking into the world's largest stadium, packed with billions of people, and finding only 60 individuals scattered across every seat, aisle, and concession stand. The rest, just empty. Now scale that up to cosmic proportions, replace people with galaxies, replace the stadium with a sphere of space 330 million light years across, and place it 700 million light years away from Earth in the direction of the constellation Boötes, the herdsman. This is not the plot of a cosmic horror film, this is real. Astronomers call it the Boötes Void, though some prefer the more dramatic nickname The Great Nothing, and it's one of the most perplexing features in the observable universe. The Buddha's void isn't just empty space, it's unnaturally, almost offensively empty. According to our best models of how the universe should look, this region should be teeming with thousands of galaxies. Instead, it contains about 60, a statistical ghost town on a scale so vast that it challenges the very foundations of modern cosmology. So what's going on out there? Did the universe forget to fill in this section? Did something or someone sweep it clean? Or is our understanding of cosmic structure fundamentally flawed? Let's take a tour through science, speculation and cosmic mystery. In 1981, astronomer Robert Kirshner and his team weren't hunting for cosmic anomalies. They were doing the celestial equivalent of census work mapping the positions and velocities of galaxies to understand the large-scale structure of the universe. Everything was going as expected until it wasn't. On their 3D cosmic map, a massive, perfectly round blank spot appeared, not a smudge, not a glitch, a sphere of pure absence, 330 million light-years wide, containing almost nothing. At first, they assumed it was a technical error, maybe a faulty sensor, maybe cosmic static. But after repeated checks, the void remained stubborn, silent and spherical. When they published their findings, the paper's title ended with a question mark, as if even the scientists couldn't quite believe what they were reporting. Soon, other astronomers confirmed it. The Buta's void was real and it was impossible. Human brains aren't wired to grasp cosmic scales. So let's translate. Our Milky Way galaxy is about 100,000 light years across. To cross the Bota's void, you'd need to line up 3,300 Milky Ways side by side. It contains less than 1% of the galaxies it should, based on average cosmic density. The void makes up roughly 2% of the observable universe's volume, all of it nearly empty. If New York City had the same galactic density as the Buddha's void, you'd walk from Manhattan to the Bronx and see six people total. The rest, crickets and darkness. This isn't just empty. This isn't... A it's a cosmic desert so extreme that even intergalactic space, which we normally think of as empty, looks positively crowded by comparison. According to the Lambda CDM model, the current gold standard of cosmology, the universe evolved from a nearly uniform state after the Big Bang. Tiny quantum fluctuations in density 
gradually grew under gravity, forming stars, galaxies, clusters, and the vast cosmic web we see today. In this model, voids are normal. In fact, about 80% of the universe's volume is made up of voids, but they're usually irregular, asymmetric and much smaller, typically under 100 million light years across. The Bhutas void? It's spherical, it's gigantic, and it's too empty. Even more troubling, computer simulations of the universe's evolution cannot produce a void this large in 13.8 billion years. To form naturally via gravity alone, it would have needed 25 to 30 billion years, almost twice the age of the universe. In scientific terms, that's like baking a cake for 30 minutes and finding a fully grown oak tree in your oven. So, how did it get there? Here are the usual suspects. One, it's just a bigger void. Sure, voids exist, but none come close to booters in size, symmetry or emptiness. It's like comparing a puddle to the Pacific Ocean and claiming they're the same thing. Two, it formed from merging smaller voids. This is the leading theory that several smaller voids merged over time like soap bubbles coalescing. It explains the filament of 60 galaxies running through the center, possibly the scar where two voids joined. But here's the rub. Even this requires impossibly large initial voids, forming too early in cosmic history. Plus, merged voids should look lumpy, not spherical. Butters is suspiciously smooth, like it was carved with a cosmic cookie cutter. Dark energy, the mysterious force accelerating the universe's expansion, could, in theory, push matter away faster in certain regions. But all observations show dark energy is uniform across space. If it were stronger in Bhutas, we'd see galaxies fleeing the center faster than they do. We don't. The void expands at the expected rate, just like everywhere else. One, quantum fluctuations got lucky. Maybe a rare, massive fluctuation in the early universe created a giant, low-density bubble. Possible? Technically, yes. Probable? less likely than winning the lottery while being struck by lightning on Mars. Here's another twist. The 60 galaxies inside the void aren't weird. You'd expect galaxies formed in total isolation to be primitive, gas poor and underdeveloped, like cosmic hermits. But many are perfect spiral galaxies with active star formation, healthy gas reserves and even central black holes feeding as if nothing's amiss. One, nicknamed the loneliest galaxy in the universe, MCG Puzzle 12015, is so isolated that if we lived there, we wouldn't have discovered other galaxies until the 1960s, long after splitting the atom and launching Sputnik. Imagine growing up thinking your galaxy was the entire universe. That's the psychological horror of Boiters. And yet, these galaxies look completely normal. Which raises a deeper question. Do galaxies need neighbors to evolve? Or can they thrive in perfect solitude? Science still doesn't know. When natural explanations falter, some turn to unconventional ideas. Enter the megastructure hypothesis. What if the Bota's void isn't empty, but hidden? Physicist Freeman Dyson once proposed that advanced civilizations might build spherical shells around stars, Dyson spheres, to harvest their energy. From afar, such stars would vanish in visible light, glowing only in infrared. Now scale that up, a civilization millions of years old, harvesting entire galaxies. Over time, they cloak 10,000 galaxies in energy-collecting shrouds. To us, that region appears empty, except for the few galaxies they haven't reached yet. The spherical shape, a perfect signature of radial expansion from a central point. Is this plausible? Not really. We see no infrared excess in the void, no mysterious heat signatures, just nothing. But, and this is a big but, absence of evidence isn't evidence of absence. Maybe their tech is so advanced it leaves no waste heat. Or maybe they operate on wavelengths we can't detect. Most scientists dismiss this as sci-fi. But a few whisper, what if? After all, the universe is 13.8 billion years old. 
human civilization is 0.001% of that. Could something older, smarter, and vastly more capable have reshaped parts of the cosmos, and we just haven't noticed? Botas doesn't prove it, but it allows for it. Even wilder, the void could be a collision site. According to the eternal inflation theory, our universe is just one bubble in a vast multiverse. Occasionally, these bubbles smash into each other. Such a collision would blast matter away from the impact zone, leaving a spherical void surrounded by a shell of compressed galaxies, exactly what we see in Boitas. Even the mysterious cold spot in the cosmic microwave background, a region unusually cold and large, might be another such scar. Is this testable? Barely. But if true, Boitas wouldn't just be a void, it would be proof that other universes exist. That's not just cosmology, that's metaphysics with data. Every sphere has a center. Booters is no exception. Astronomers have pointed every kind of telescope, radio, X-ray, infrared, toward that central point. Result? Nothing. No black hole, no energy source, no anomaly. Just emptier emptiness. In a natural void, you'd expect some leftover gas, a failed galaxy, or at least a whisper of matter. But the center of Booters is cleaner than a lab vacuum. It's as if something deliberately erased everything, not just galaxies, but even the raw ingredients for them. Or maybe nothing ever was there to begin with. Ironically, the void's emptiness makes it perfect for science. Neutrinos, ghostly particles that barely interact with matter, fly through Booters undisturbed for 330 million years. This makes the void a natural neutrino detector, helping us measure their mass and behavior over cosmic distances. Dark matter maps show it's present in the void, but spread in thin, web-like filaments, not clumps. This supports the idea that dark matter is cold, slow-moving, and collisionless. The void's cold temperature, due to the sachs wolf effect, helps us study the cosmic microwave background with less interference. In other words, the best way to study the universe might be to look where there's nothing. Here's the honest truth. Nobody knows. The Botas void sits at the edge of our understanding. It could be a rare statistical fluke, a cosmic outlier that just happened. Evidence of new physics. Perhaps gravity behaves differently on vast scales. A fossil from the Big Bang's first moments, imprinted by quantum weirdness. A boundary between universes. Or something we haven't even imagined yet. Science doesn't demand answers. It thrives on questions. And Botas gives us a doozy. The Botas void reminds us of something profound. The universe is under no obligation to make sense to us. We've mapped galaxies, decoded the Big Bang's afterglow and weighed the invisible. Yet here, 700 million light years away, floats a perfect sphere of nothingness, mocking our models, challenging our assumptions and daring us to look deeper. Maybe one day the James Webb Space Telescope or its successors will catch a faint signal from the void's edge. Maybe a gravitational wave will ripple through it revealing hidden mass or maybe it will remain silent forever. The universe's ultimate punchline. Until then the great nothing endures. 330 million light years of darkness, 60 lonely galaxies, and a question echoing through the cosmos. What are you hiding? The void doesn't answer. It just waits. And somewhere in one of those 60 galaxies, an alien astronomer might be writing the exact same article, wondering if we are the anomaly. And there you have it, my cosmic companions. Remember, every challenge is just a stepping stone to greatness. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that like button subscribe so we can keep exploring together and drop a comment to share your thoughts until next time stay curious stay bold and keep chasing those dreams